Skype here and turn you up. Look at that! Oh, it's so good. I'm so good at this. <laughs> All right, we did it. We did it, guys. We hashtag did it. So uh, anyway, I don't know how many of the people who are watching right now are aware of the Dominion subreddit, but and you may also be aware of the fact that I have not posted on FDS in quite some time. That uh, is because I don't want to. So there you go. If you were looking for a reason, that's it. But uh, anyway, I um, you know I've done some stuff on the Dominion subreddit. I wrote an article that I thought was really good. So maybe y'all should check it out. But uh, anyway. One of the things that happened is uh, some some guy who I believe is not you, right? <laughs> what? A, a different guy. Well, I haven't said it, so how, why don't you know what's going on in my mind without me telling you? Sorry. Somebody posts on Reddit. He was like, hey, I'm looking for a tutor slash mentor for Dominion. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll do it. And then, like, I got a whole bunch of PMs from a whole bunch of people. It's like, hey, I want this too. So, like... Well, I posted, so yay. Oh, yeah, you, you replied... Yes. Well, I did both. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, got it. We're. I swear, I know what's going on. So. Uh, yes. Yes. So anyway, uh, I was just like, hey, well, this is when I usually stream. If someone's around, then uh, we can do the thing with the person. So, uh, the person here is Mort Kawasaki. Should I just call? Uh, should I just call you Mort? No, uh, Tom is fine. Tom. Okay, I will fail at that for the first, like, 10 or 15 times and probably sure. eventually get used to it. <laughs> is your name on uh, Making Fun, what is it, Mort Kawasaki? Uh, yeah. No, it's just Mort. Mort. Okay. So, uh, we're going to play a game of Dominion. And uh, I'm going to ask you an obnoxious number of questions, and hopefully through all of this we'll both get better at the game, yeah? Uh... Sure. As you can see from the last game, I have plenty of room to get better at Dominion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so here I'm going to tell you the most terrible thing that you don't want to hear. What do you think of this board? What's going on? Um, well, there's not many attacks. There's a chip, but that's not really quite good. There's not many good threes, I don't think. Well, Fortune Tatter, what does Fortune Tatter even do? <laughs> it's not important. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there's rats and city and stuff, and actions. There's city. Um, there's bridge and city, so that's a thing. Why is bridge and city a thing? Because if you play lots of cities and then lots of bridges, you can just pile out provinces or something. Okay, so you're saying similarly to city and goons. Uh, yeah. City is a great way to play lots of terminal payload cards. So yes, you are correct. Yes. Yeah. Um, I don't know. What, so what do you what do you think you're gonna do? Well, I'm definitely gonna open silver and hmm. I'm probably gonna go for the engine, just city bridges. Okay, so um, up there. So you want to go for the engine? You want lots of cities and you want lots of bridges. Yes, and possibly one or two hagglers, but I'm not sure. Possibly hagglers, okay. So tell me why I'm wrong. Uh, well, I'm I'm not positive that you're wrong. I think this one's pretty interesting and pretty close. Uh, obviously, everything centers around city, right? Yeah. And so I have some guidelines for for city. Uh, a lot of times, I see players that are really good at the game. They just mirror and they just pile cities and then oh it's a city game city's so good right um i i think the tendency is to do that too much and so i have a couple of metrics to to deal with that if you're gonna go for cities you have to have a plan to empty piles by yourself in order to activate your cities and, and in this case you're relying on city for draw if the the dollar yeah, and the buy is much grow apart from city, so. it is the only way to increase your hand size. So if unless I go for pirate ship, which spoiler alert, I'm not gonna do. <laughs> uh, unless I do that, you're gonna have no trashing and city is the only draw. So you're gonna need to come up with some way to empty piles and get enough bridges in play to have a really good turn by the time whatever big money enabler you may be playing against can win the game. 
Yes. So, given that I've said that you need that, what's your plan? Mm. So I probably need gains. What do I need gains? Yeah, all right, price gains. Um, so I need to be faster than some big money later. Um. Yeah, so what is, if you were going to play big money on this board, what would you do? Mm. Let's take a look. Um, probably Explorer, right? Explorer's pretty good, yeah. Anything else? Um, let's take a look at what, he, what these cards even do. <laughs> mm, probably maybe a fortune teller. Probably Hagner. Yeah, Hagler is quite good for big money, especially when you consider if you're going to play an engine against it, the the players playing big money can buy province, haggle gold, and keep viable very well. Yeah. So that's something you have to, to think about. I mean, there's no alt VP here, right? So the big money player, if he plays properly against you, is just going to get as many provinces as possible. Yes. So, uh, and, and then the, the only other thing that I see that enables big money at all is candlestick maker, and that's very slight. And and let me let me just level with you. I have a two five, so I'm just gonna open candlestick maker. But I mean, yeah. unless you're staring at two dollars, I don't think the candlestick maker is all that great most of the time. So my my read on this is the draw of city is kind of weak, given that there's no trashing. Yes. I mean, you can put some really big turns together if you're uncontested on cities, and you can activate the cities. That's not going to be impossible for you to do. You want to empty the cities, and there are ways to get to double city turns, yeah. I think. So, so is it fast enough? Right. Um, it, is it fast enough? That's the question. And I think it's kind of close. I think the payload's very explosive. On the other hand, I would probably chicken out and play big money here. But the nice thing is this is a learning game. So I can just play the big money, and you can play the engine, and then you know we can see what kind of happens. And then if it doesn't work, we can we can look at why. So okay. that doesn't seem too um. bad here. Wondering Winder says I don't think double city turns are going to be happening. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, so, um, until um, the cities turn on. So you don't want money terminals that aren't bridges, right? You don't want terminals that aren't... I'm, hmm. A haggler might be better than nothing to yeah, pick up, but I'm really not... It's definitely silver here, not fortune teller. Oh, for sure, yeah. Fortune teller is not a very good card. Like, you can safely ignore it on almost every board you play. Okay. Actually, this board, you might get it. <laughs> but, <laughs> I don't know, it's close. And uh, So, if I'm going big money on the 5-2, I think on turn to I think Explorer is probably better than picking up the Haggler now so I will get the Explorer but then after that it's going to be Haggler yeah, on fire your economy going. I also it helps that I know that I'm playing against an engine so that makes Explorer better <laughs> right, right that's not a huge deal so this is a pretty good turn um, so I could get City Silver or get, or I could get another bridge right now. So I I don't like picking up any more silver. You really right. want you really want to have bridges instead of silvers, if yeah. you can have the actions to support them. So like, it's it's kind of tough here. I I don't really like double bridge all that much, but it may be best. Yeah, having lots of bridges should help you get cities. I think city nothing, or maybe city candlestick maker or double bridge. Uh, Wandering Winder says he maybe should get one more silver because he needs to hit five. Maybe. I, I don't think any of those things I mentioned would be crazy. Mm, okay. Um, so I, I think I want a city. The question is whether I even want to candlestick maker. Well, the the it's only reason. Early game, but late game, it's just I don't know, just not a copper. The only reason I would consider candlestick maker is because it can help you get double city turns you can save up coin tokens yeah that's true that's the big reason i would consider it 
Yeah, but is it worth having a candlestick kind of making your deck? Of That's course. a really good question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I, I think if you had like if you're gonna get a silver, I think you should probably get a candlestick maker instead. And of course, the chat disagrees with me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's close. I, I think either one would probably be fine. We'll, we'll see what happens. Hashtag see what happens. Uh, gold I think is good here. That's good gold. Hagler is soon, but not yet. Yeah, like this one's going to be a Hagler. Me likey Hagler. There's a gold in these five cards. I should be able to pick up gold next turn and save the token. Wandering Winder says I would lean to silver, but it's not clear to me. Yeah, that's like pretty much exactly how I feel, bro. <laughs> Nothing is bad. He doesn't have enough money. Oh, oh, well, yeah, yeah, okay. I understand the thing that you are saying to me. Mm. I don't want the third silver. Question is whether I want city or bridge. Uh, you've got three bridges and two cities. Yeah, eh, city costs more. I guess I would get it for that reason. You're at the top of the sure. shuffle. You're probably going to be getting a few of them this shuffle anyway. Yeah, sure. So you're already in province. <laughs> nope. Well, okay, so since I have an explorer in my deck, the first province is much better than subsequent provinces. That's so true. that was an easy... I also have two gold, so like it's a really easy call to make for me. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I'm, not, I'm not convinced I'm getting any more of the rest of the shuffle, and I'm totally not. Well, that's true, it's just pretty quick. I'm... Um, not even close to being done with building my engine. <laughs> so, so Wandering Winder says, City over bridge all day, it's the pile you want to run, and you want to run it ASAP. That is really important. So, like, the, the deck that I see that, that you want to build here, it has a bunch of cities and a bunch of bridges. But, like, even with ten cities, you can't draw everything, right? You, you have too many stop cards, there's no trashing. Yeah. So, in order to put together good turns, you're going to want... I mean, you, you don't want to draw your whole deck, because you can't. You want to draw, like, a big honk of it and play, like, a good honk of your bridges. So, like, maybe three or four and have multiple turns like that in order mm -hmm. to win. So, like, you you want – you might want to empty the bridges. So, like, I, I don't think emptying bridges is totally crazy. Um, cities – I mean, if you had the choice, yes, I would put the cities in first, but yeah, that may not be the case. Double bridge turns are much easier to put together. Mm -hmm. uh, so – Iguana Iguana says hello. Hello, Iguana Iguana. Thanks for watching. Uh, hi, Iguana Iguana. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Let's see what I did there. I did. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was good. <sighs> yeah, more shades. So I can afford another terminal at this point. I actually could have gotten it last shuffle, but uh, I felt like saving the token was more important. But here we totally spend the tokens to get the thingy and the what's it's. And then get another terminal soonish. Hi, puppy dog. Uh, gold just—it's uh, got to be gold here. I, I'll have a five-dollar hand this shuffle, I'm sure. And whatever, if I don't get another terminal, it's really not a big deal. Okay, this is this is closer than I thought it was going to be so far. Your deck is kind of coming together. Uh, mm. This is where I agonize over that choice of do I get the terminal or do, do I just get another gold? I I don't really like the terminal at this point. I feel like I need to secure the game in the next shuffle, and gold gives me the best chance of doing that. So yeah, four Hagler and three provinces, right? What'd you say? You now have one explorer, one hangar, and three provinces, right? Yes. And I also have a candlestick maker. Mm -hmm. So they're saying cities are a trap here, and I mean, well, I mean, I kind of thought yeah. big money was better, so like, of course, I think that way. But uh, the the important thing to take away is if the cities are a trap, then why are they, and how do you recognize that? And this is. Probably because there's 
No draw and no trashing. I could get a city here. Mm, why? Uh, because it's a good card for my deck. It's either okay. that or let you get and it. Right? My cities are active for one like, more. I mean, it it empties. It gives you one more turn. That's that's a drawback, yeah. But like, I mean, it's okay. either that or duchy or some terminal, which I guess would be explorer. I at this point, definitely don't think it's city here. Uh, what does the chat say? Uh, oh wow, the yeah. chat says that getting a city for me is a horrible idea. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. I mean, it's well, I have I have nine cities, so I know, and then uh, you could have ten. Yeah. You know, uh, if you get the city this turn, then this turn for me will be probably. Whoa! I can get a duchess. Like well, then duchess clearly right. Give me that duchess. Give me that sweet, sweet duchess. <laughs> uh, Iguana says, I already learned that Adam loses when he buys cities. <laughs> yeah, buying the last city did indeed lose me the last game. That's a thing. <laughs> oh, look at this hand. I've got Terminal Collision. Which terminal do I play? Bagoosh! Look at that Rockstar Explorer! Oh, so good! Alright. Right. <laughs> So um, this is kind of where I hope to get lots of stuff. Oh boy, here it comes. This is this is the bad news right here. What can you put together? So triple province, which loses me the game, so that's nice. I would not recommend triple province. So probably single, so, single province. Yeah, before you click on things, let's talk through this. This is a pretty yes. important decision. Uh, first of all, you are at the bottom of a shuffle. Yeah, so my deck is my last hand I played one city and one bridge, right? Uh a double bridge. City and two. So my deck two, is two, six, seven, eight. You should have two cities. And two cities. Okay, so you, you got a decent chance of kicking off next turn. Uh Part part of me wants to say like you know get a bunch of duchies, but that's really bad because you're about to shuffle. Yeah. I probably want to empty bridges, right? Uh, the, it might be okay to get some bridges. You probably want some, but the the decision I think you should make first is you know what kind of green you're getting this turn, if anything. Yeah, so definitely not Dublin province because you can end the game. Um, right, with a province oh. hand I could end the game, but you have to ask yourself, if I get that province, do you lose anyway? So, true. so do you lose anyway? Maybe. So, let's say you have province and you have 42, then I need to get the last province, which is between 15, and then I need 72 more points. Uh, which I should get seven duchies right. and seven states. But that's yeah. probably not going to happen. Right. So you want two provinces. So, yeah. <laughs> you, you you have to hope that I don't have the province this hand, and then uh well okay, <laughs> but I mean you you should just I I've been, just been burned by that a lot so. That's that's a habit that I would recommend you break, and and I think getting the rest bridges is a good play. Uh, I don't think getting the the duchy is as important as getting a bridge, because just getting the bridge could mean an extra duchy on your next turn. So, so that's the right decision, and and I think you understand why you made it, right? Yeah, probably well, if you can win making a certain play, then well, don't make the play. Seems. Here. So I drew a double province here. So can 20, you win? 24 more points. That's province plus 6 duchies. You have. Uh, that's a win, right? I think. I haven't counted it out, but it looks like you probably do. Plus some, plus 3 estates, which puts me 3 points ahead. I think. Uh, no, go away, duchies. Oh, you better get all those those duchesses. You're gonna need every one of those duchesses, man. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I have I have gardens in my deck, so. <laughs> I 
Yeah, there you go. Nicely done. Yeah, so it's really close. Yeah, it was pretty close. Uh, you played it pretty well. I uh, figured it was close. It was close. Uh, well done. I I think we uh, I think we've all taken taken something away from that, including myself. I actually didn't think you had any chance. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh gee, thanks. Well, it's not it's not that it was you. I just thought that my strategy was better. And uh hey. your strategy was much more competitive than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. Yeah, I did get lucky some 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 amount of times. Yeah, I had some good draws in the beginning, whatever. You make your own shuffle luck. So Yeah, what's going on here? Um, forger and some other stuff. It's a card, yeah.